Hello Capricorn, this is Debs and this is your TGIF reading for Friday the 9th of Feb 2024. Cabby, it's lovely to be with you again. I hope you guys are well. Let's jump in and find out how your person feels about you and what may be happening over the next few days. The deck that I'm using is the Sanctus Concordia from Etsy. Everything is listed down below, as well as my website if you like a private reading. And if you want to see more videos that you can't see on this main public channel, you can become a member. And the link to do that is down below as well. All right, Capricorn, let's begin. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF Weekly for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do we have for Cappy, please, Michael? Moving into the weekend and a fresh new week. Thank you. I'm hearing the word determination. Okay, you could be determined to do something, Capricorn. Wow, yeah, we got the strength card that flew out. Now, you could be simply determined to hold back from someone, or you could be determined to move forward to have a conversation with a Leo. Came out for a reason. All right. Hmm. Okay, guys, so the strength card. The two of cups. Wow. <laughs> Cappy. Page of wands. Are you reaching out to someone, Capricorn, to say I've been holding back from telling you, but I have feelings for you? This is how they see you. Tower. Airy Scorpio energy. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Capricorn, the way they see you is that you've been holding back from this person, even though you're in love with them. Because with the Page of Wands Capricorn, there may have been an argument that caused a tower moment relating to somebody else in the mix. So they may feel that you're upset with them. You could have found out this person was communicating with somebody else or involved with somebody else. Or Capricorn, after a period of holding back, knowing that you're in love with this person, you may be shocked because they may reach out to say, I, I want to sort this out. I, I want to build a partnership with you. But this is you thinking, well, yes, but they're still connected to someone else. How is that going to work? Okay, Cappy. Wow, Ten of Swords. Yeah. I mean, this is the energy of you lied to me, you betrayed me, you deceived me, and now you want to work it out. Six of Wands. Cappy, all you can think about is this person almost wanting to try and put a tiny plaster over a massive wound. It's as if, hey, you really think I want to work on this now with you? You've got to be kidding me. You put me through the Ten of Swords. Capricorn, you may say to this person, Six of Wands, I'm sorry, I'm moving on. I'm sorry, I'm busy with my career. No, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. High Priestess, yeah. Capricorn, the way this person sees you is you are shutting down communication and you're moving on. This person may feel as if you're now deciding to move towards a Leo, a Pisces or a Cancerian. As in, I'm going to show you I can be successful with somebody else because I found out you were lying to me. You were involved with another person. Hmm, the chariot. Capricorn, this person sees you firmly moving on after a shock. They may feel as if you're leaving them behind for a water sign. 
or they may feel, Capricorn, you are simply using your intuition, putting a false mask on, you're not allowing this person to see that you're in pain, and you're determined to press forward. But you may be sitting in shock because they see you in shock following a message which relates to working in partnership. Wow. King of Pentacles. So if you're a masculine Capricorn, you are taking charge. You're moving on, leaving someone behind, and you're determined to move yourself into a decent commitment. You may feel as if you've wasted time with someone who wasn't open and honest with you. And you are swiftly moving in somebody else's direction. If you're a feminine, you are reeling after finding out that whoever this person was, was in a relationship with someone else. And you are desperately trying to leave this person behind. Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn, um, if you're sitting in the King of Pentacles energy, you're moving swiftly towards someone else to offer them a commitment. You may be even thinking, I want to move, I want to relocate, I want to get out of here, I want to erase all the memories I had with this past person because I found out they deceived me. This is Clean Slate. The Emperor. Wow. As a masculine, you are taking charge. You may be deciding to say to your boss or your father, I'm moving, I'm leaving. I've decided I want to settle down. I've decided I need to leave the past behind. It's sort of the energy of you can't stop me, right? If you're a feminine, this is tough. Because whoever lied to you about being single, because that's what we're looking at, tower, oh my gosh, this is a third party situation. This may be tricky because this could be this person racing towards you, saying to you, um, hold on Capricorn, don't go anywhere because I want to commit to you. I will commit to you and I'm taking charge of my situation with the energy of the emperor. This could be somebody going through divorce. Seven of Wands. But Capricorn, they see you being a little bit defensive. Or if this is you saying to your boss or your dad, I'm sorry, dad, I'm moving out of the area because I was dating a woman that I found out was married. If this boss or father says to you, uh, sorry, but you can't leave, you have to give us three months notice. Or I'm sorry, son, we don't agree with what you're doing. You're basically saying, I don't really care. Seven of Wands, you can't stop me. Wow, three of wands. Yes, I mean, Capricorn, this is you moving on. You're embracing change. If there is a situation here where you're a feminine who's being told by this emperor that they're going to make a change to their situation, you're being defensive, but what you're thinking about quietly is, okay, well, maybe I should just wait and see if that actually happens. But this is still a third-party situation, Cappy. So whatever your story is, Cappy, this is what we've got, okay? Underneath the deck, we've got the Queen of Wands, okay? So as a masculine, you could have been dealing with a woman who sat in the energy of the Queen of Wands as a married woman, okay? You were her lover, right? And with the energy of the Eight of Wands, there was, I think, a blow-up row, we got the Knight of Wands. Somebody here sat in the energy of the Knight of Wands. Somebody was unfaithful. Somebody behaved like a player. Whilst being married with the Hierophant card. Taurian energy. Now, um, if you're a feminine, this is you realising, Capricorn, that you were simply the other woman. And that your person was married. And this is you coming to terms with that and trying to make a decision whether or not it's worth waiting for this person to divorce or whether or not you should move on away from the situation, take charge of your own life and shift yourself in a new direction. OK, guys, so let's move into angel answers. Let's see what more information needs to come through. OK, Caps? 
So Archangel Michael, what messages do we have from the angels, please, for Capricorn? OK, Capricorn, you're ready. I'm hearing you're ready to take charge. OK. You're ready, Capricorn, you're ready. OK, wow. You may be realising, Capricorn, you're ready to let go of this old situation. Yeah. I've just seen 1333 on the clock. 1333. Recovery. I think, Capricorn, what you're realising is you need to let go and just heal. Even though this person may be saying to you, hold on, Capricorn, maybe in the future I'll be ready to divorce. You're thinking, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But also, Cappy, I have to say, you may still be in shock that this person hid from you, that you were a third party. Because Page of Wands, Tower, Three of Pentacles is um, a message coming in which shocks you. And potentially an argument. And then you sitting in the Ten of Swords. Anything else? Look for a sign. Okay, Capricorn, the angels are going to be guiding you. You may be seeing duplicate numbers. Uh, look at numerical synchronicities. Also look for feathers on your path in unusual places. Years ago, just before I went through my ascension, my first ascension, um, I was in a horrible nine to five job. I hated it. And I remember quietly saying to myself, I just need a sign that I need to get out of this. I walked onto a train and the only seat available had a single white feather on the seat on the train. I looked at it in disbelief. And for me, that was a sign. And then, of course, I became connected to Archangel Michael. And that's where I am now. So it may be, Capricorn, that there's a series of events that seem really strange. And when you look back, this is you realising that the angels really were trying to push you in a new direction. OK, I don't know why I told you my story, but there we go. So look for a sign, Capricorn. OK. A year from now. OK. All right, guys. Oh, you may have to wait a year. What is going to be happening a year from now? What's going to be happening a year from now? Oh, there's going to be great success. All right. OK, great success. Well, romance. So Capricorn, look for a sign. A year from now, you're going to be sitting in a beautiful relationship. Success in romance. Anything else? Beautiful, Cappy and abundance. So a year from now, Capricorn, you may look back and think, oh, my goodness, I was in this horrible situation. I was heartbroken by this person who wasn't honest with me. But look at me now. I'm in a beautiful, romantic relationship with a lot of stability, with abundance. It may be this is you looking back thinking, wow, I'm so glad I didn't hang on waiting for this other person, you know. All right, guys. Let's finish this part of your reading with messages from this person to you. I just want to find out what they want to say. OK, we'll do that now. So Archangel Michael, what does this person want to say to Capricorn? OK, I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. They want your forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. I never experienced this intense connection before. So it was a very intense connection. It might be, Cappy, that they simply couldn't help themselves, right? They moved towards you. Hmm. Okay. Wow, I never expected to fall in love. So Capricorn, this person did fall in love with you. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. OK, Capricorn, very simple. You met this person. I think you fell for each other very quickly. I don't think they had the courage to tell you that they weren't single. I think one thing led to another. You might have talked to this person about getting really serious, whether you're male or female. And I think this person, Capricorn, simply backed off big time. 
And when you ask them, you know, what's going on? What's the problem here? They might have blurted out tower moment. Um, I'm actually involved with somebody else. And if they did Capricorn, it was much more serious than you thought. This wasn't somebody who was dating someone else. They were married. This is a wife with a husband or this is a man with a wife sat at home. Wow. Are they saying anything else? I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. Hmm. I'm putting myself first right now. Okay. I think, Capricorn, this person has retreated in embarrassment and they're concentrating on themselves, possibly trying to figure out if they are ready to get divorced or leave someone. But Capricorn, I think your advice is leave this person to it, let go, recover. Because a year from now, I think there's going to be romance and stability with somebody else. What else is this person saying? I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. Capricorn, they may feel that the right thing to do is to pull back and not communicate anymore because they want to do the right thing now. OK, they may realize that it was a bit of a shell shock for you. You were still reeling, pertaining to what happened. And this is someone who's sort of leaving you to recover. Yeah, but they do feel bad. I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. Maybe we're better off separated. Yeah. Okay. So, Cappy, let's lift the vibration of this reading. You have success and stability and romance a year from now. So, I know it's pretty early days, guys, and you may be thinking, Debs, you know, it's, it's a year from now, but let's stay positive. Let's move into a second reading and let's see who this person is and what may be happening. All right. OK, my lovely cabbies, let's find out what the future may bring. OK, this is the Witch's Tarot and let's begin. Archangel Michael, what does the future hold for my lovely Capricorns, please, Michael? Thank you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, masculine or feminine. What does the future hold for my Capricorns? Thank you. Gosh, I'm hearing someone say to someone else, I'm never going to let you go. You may meet the love of your life, Capricorn, if you can detach from this past situation. That's lovely. OK. <laughs> I'm hearing a really old sonnet. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet and so are you. I don't know where that came from. Tower. Oh my goodness. Okay, tower. All right. Four of cups. Oh, Capricorn. You are looking at the past, reliving this tower moment. Yep, six of cups. Reliving this tower moment, sat in nostalgia. Strength card, trying to hold back from this person. Trying to hold back from this person. Trying to hold back from the temptation of getting back in touch. Ace of Swords, because very simply, Cappy, it's done. It's done. This is you telling yourself, even though this is painful, even though I don't want to deal with this, I have to cope with this and let go. Okay? But you are reliving this tower moment. You're reliving this. Now, maybe for some of you, the tower moment is, is that this person pops back into your life again. But you say to this person, four of cups, I'm not interested in working in partnership with you. No, I'm sorry. It's done. It's done. King of Swords. All right. Capricorn is a masculine. You are speaking your truth and you are ending the situation with a woman who was, say, married. If you're a feminine, you're just thinking this person is trying to be strategic. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, masculine if you're feminine. 
karma. Ooh. Capricorn, whoever you are in the mix, this is you, may be saying to this person, it's okay, but uh, no, I don't want to get wrapped up with you again. You're just going to face karma. It's all right, I'm healing. <laughs> you may say that to this person, Caps. It's okay, right? You'll get what's coming to you. All right. Ten of Wands. But the truth is, you're still burdened. Because you can't help but feel that this might have been your person. But with the Five of Swords... If you do speak your peace, Capricorn, all you're going to realise is this person is just going to ghost you. They're just going to head off in another direction. It's as if, OK, I'm mortified. Capricorn's not playing. I just want to get out of here. They're going to leave you be. OK. All right, guys, I'm shuffling the deck again because I want to find out about the future. Michael, can we move away from the past, please, for my lovely Capricorns? Moving away from the past, what does the future hold for Capricorn? So, basically, your person's coming back, Cappy, but you're saying thank you, but no thank you. Have a nice day. See you, Felicia, right? <laughs> okay. Knight of Pentacles, that's more like it. So, Capricorn, if you're a masculine, you may well be moving towards someone in the future with an offer to commit. If you're a feminine, this is someone moving towards you. Nice. Page of Pentacles, lovely. Capricorn, this is you starting to date. This is grounded, stable energy. This is someone who has really good intentions, male or female. The sun, wow. Capricorn, this is someone who makes you incredibly happy. If you're a masculine in the future, you may well end up having a child with someone. Or you could be moving towards a Leo. You could also be deciding to move location. The sun can be global travel. King of Wands. Cappy, if you're a masculine, you're taking charge. You're moving towards someone you find very, very attractive. And you're going for it. And this could be a really serious relationship. If you're a feminine, you may well have met a very attractive Leo. With the sun and the king of wands. Wow. Um, Capricorn, whoever you are, you are moving into the ten of cups. This is happiness, expansion, growth, creating a beautiful home with someone, creating a family with someone. This is success in romance with stability, Capricorn. What a beautiful set of cards. Under the deck, Cappy, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, so under the deck, we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So either Capricorn, this is your person trying to come back into your life, but this is you saying, hell no, uh, I don't think I want to wait until you get divorced. You lied to me in any case. Have a good life. If this is someone new... You may be falling in love and moving into the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles with someone else. We've also got Temperance, Sagittarian energy. You could be receiving an apology from a Sag or you could be moving forward with a Sag if you're a feminine, Sag or a Leo. Six of Swords, moving to Karma Waters. But there's also an indication here, Capricorn, of travel, movement. Starting a new life, feeling very excited about what the future is going to bring. So guys, this is a lovely second reading for you. A beautiful second reading, Cappy. And from here, let's get into the Oracle of Mystical Moments. Let's see what else the angels want to say, okay? So Archangel Michael, what is the guidance from the angels, please? Thank you. What is the guidance? Okay. The Art of Seduction. So whether you're male or female, this is someone, Capricorn, who may try to reach out to sort of seduce you again. So just watch that energy. Hmm. Yeah, Capricorn, I feel someone's keeping an eye on you with the observer. Somebody's keeping an eye on you to see if there's a chance that you would open the door again. But I don't think you will 
I do think you will, Caps. Wow. And this is the energy of the sun. No rain today. Cappy, you are lifting off in a new direction with a three and a seven, which is, of course, ten. I feel this is you moving forward in a new direction, having closed out this previous cycle. Really lovely. You're going to be so much happier a year from now, Capricorn. Abundance, romance. You're going to be moving into a beautiful partnership. You're going to be sitting in the sun, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. OK, all right, guys, let's close out the reading, as always, with a message from Archangel Michael. All right. So Archangel Michael, what advice and guidance do you have for my lovely Capricorns, please? Thank you. <laughs> Perfect, Capricorn. New beginnings and a fresh start. And the prayer reads, thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. Capricorn, you have a beautiful future in front of you, okay? Close out the cycle, don't look back. Take this as a lesson and know that the angels are guiding you forward into a beautiful future, okay? Yeah. So guys, I'm leaving it there. Have a good one this weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Cappy.